Okay, so let's continue our thinking uh, on conditional sentences, right? By now, you already know how to use the third conditional and, of course, uh, the first and the second. If you haven't, go back to some videos we have there. Okay, so if I had uh, bought that car, I would have gone to the beach. I didn't buy the car, I didn't go to the beach in real life. Okay. But sometimes, guys, um, half of your sentence is in the present and the other half is in the past. For example, real sentence about uh, my life. When I was about uh, 15 years old, my father paid, uh, paid an English course uh, for me and um, I was a carpenter at that time and I worked with my father and when I started studying English I fell in love with English because English is awesome and you of course you know what you are I'm, I'm talking about because you are in love with English as well and because of that, I became a teacher. Now think about it. My father paid the course in the past. I am a teacher now. If I want to imagine a different reality, because remember, that's the point of the second and the third condition. Imagine a, a, a different reality. Uh, I'll have to mix the second and the, and the third. If my father hadn't paid me an English course, I wouldn't be a teacher now, because I am a teacher now, okay? The entire thing in the past. If my father hadn't paid me the English course, I wouldn't have become a teacher, okay? So that's the spirit, okay? So you can think about your how things to practice, how things in the past affected your present. Let me give you another beautiful story because I think conditional sentences, guys, are all about telling beautiful stories. So when I was 18 years old, I was a church guy, I used to go to church a lot and one day I decided to visit a different church, right? So I went to this different church. Uh, out of the blue, you know, I just entered any church, you know, and uh, I saw my wife there. Very cute, she was singing in the choir, you know, and, uh, and then uh, the same day we got together and uh, after three months, yes, three months, we were married. The fact is, if I hadn't entered that church, that random church, that day, I wouldn't, probably, I wouldn't be married now. This part is in the present, right? Hypothetical present. Or, if I hadn't entered that church, I wouldn't have gotten married uh, 15 years ago. Okay? So try to do the same thing, guys. You need that exercise, believe me. Remember, English is not about uh, just about understanding. Uh, you can't, guys, watch those videos and, and, and think like, oh, no, yes, I got it, now I know it. It's not about understanding, it's about doing it. So think about your past, try to imagine how would your life, would your life be different now if something, if something had happened differently and then make what uh, I like to call those hybrid conditional sentences.